and that's how it's done. Hey folks, welcome to this new edition of Mike on Ice. We're proud to bring you MikeOnIce.ca. You know, this is a new venture for us, so hopefully we'll all enjoy the shows and the content that we're going to have on the website. And uh, so right now we're at Lockport. Uh, we have Nico with us, who's uh, from Chile on this Chile morning. <laughs> and uh, he's uh, staying with um, Warren Hog Hogland. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's uh, staying with Warren as uh, sort of like an exchange student sort of thing. So uh, what do you think about the weather out here, Nico? Oh, it's very cold now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't get this in Chile, eh? No, it's not cold. No. Oh, look, there's a mark on my, on, on me. See the big mark there? He's coming up. Come on, let's see if he'll take it. See that? Let's see here. I'll bring it down. He'll follow me down, see? Just need to get him to bite. I got my oh, there he is. There we go. I got my gain set really high. Nice little sauger. That's pretty much what we catch here at Lockport. You get the odd uh, greenback, which is a uh, walleye. We call them greenback because if we do catch one, you'll see it's like an emerald incandescent green on the top of the fish. This is uh, relative to the uh, walleye. This is called a sauger. So they don't grow much big, like their maybe biggest one is 18, 19 inches, and uh, walleyes you could get them 30, 35 inches. So, but uh, hopefully we can catch a few of those. Let that one go. So now it's your turn. We gotta get you uh, a yeah. couple of those sliders, okay? And Warren over there, Warren, uh, what do you do? Well, I'm a I'm a biologist, and I work for Manitoba Hydro. Ooh. And, uh, <laughs> one of the environmental departments and uh, right now I've been working on a in a team with a team of people doing uh, a lot of uh, sturgeon support work so nice. Manitoba Hydro does a, a lot of investing into sturgeon research and in uh, activities to try and uh, recover sturgeon populations that's you know that's interesting that uh, Hydro would do that I think that's really cool You add me? Ah, you uh -oh. messed up. Yeah, you can put it in me. Okay. Thank you. So here we're going to talk with uh, Nico Munizaga. Yeah. Uh, you're from Chile. Yes, from Chile. Uh, what what province or town? In the capital, it's Santiago. San Santiago. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you think so far of our Winnipeg winter? Whoa, it's too cold for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're dressed warm. It's warm in the shack. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a warm jacket now yeah. and pants. <laughs> yeah, so um, so how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here since August. August, okay. Yeah. And you like it here? Yes, I like it. It's a yeah. good experience for me. You want to move here? Mm, I don't know, maybe in the future. <laughs> so now you know how our winters are here. How do your winters fair with our winters like what's the average temperature uh in chile maybe the average temperature is 15 15 yeah so that's 15 above yeah <laughs> so you don't get any minus mm. minus one minus two even minus two yeah, yeah in night? the morning in the yeah. morning just in okay. the morning but in the day never boy i guess some people can handle that but i love our winters you like crown royal yeah, I like. I <laughs> yeah. It's a good whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got the top whiskey now, and there, yeah. that whiskey is made in Gimli. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Not far, yeah. maybe an hour drive from here. So that's that's pretty cool about Canada. Oh, there's one. Ooh. There's one. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, that's a bigger, bigger one. Than you. Oh, thanks, Nico. <laughs> 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 you just gotta rub it in. Oh, yeah, there's a it. It's a greenback. Yeah. See how the the back is green on it's that? Green here, kind of green color. Yeah, it's very unique to Winnipeg or to the Red River in Lake Winnipeg. Oh. Yeah, the only places that you catch them. I think you could maybe get them in Lake Manitoba. Yeah, but they're not as as nice as that. Nice one. Yeah, fish. First walleye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good for you, Warren. <laughs> There 
there's a bike on ice fish. <laughs> He's still there looking, looking at his flasher. Uh, he's here now. It only takes about four minutes for Rob and Kelvin here from Goliath Tech to install one of these bad boys. Folks, if you're planning on building a new deck in addition or a new building project, this is a way to get it started. The Goliath Tech system is a top of the line screw pile. It installs fast by certified professionals anytime, anywhere. It's economical and it's cutting edge technology too. You guys done already? Right on! Let's go fish it. Peter and his team at North Main Trucking have been an important part of Winnipeg's construction industry since 1996. With hard work, innovation and great customer service, the business has grown to include a large fleet of construction equipment and vehicles. Peter and his staff put their hearts into the work they do, supporting big jobs like street excavations and renewals, highways, bridges and of course, snow removal. North Main Trucking, moving the earth. Okay folks, uh, here's a little tip if you want to use it. Uh, to use a flutter spoon on a Red River, because of the current being so strong, it's really hard to pick the flutter spoon up on your flasher. So what I did was I just grabbed an old jig out of my tackle box, I cut the, the hook off because it'll get caught in the bottom of the ice, and I attached it with a little snap. So what this is going to do is going to bring your line more straighter down, and you're going to have your flutter spoon off into the current a bit so uh, you can pick the flutter spoon up on your flasher so give that a try and hopefully you can put more fish on the ice because I did this the other day and uh, I think it caught six in ten minutes so uh, <laughs> it really worked out well for me so I'm gonna see what it can do here at Lockport today There's a fish. Thanks, Warren. Another little soggy. Boy, it looks just. Nice chili from chili. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that one all night. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> From up here, right, Mike? It'll come okay, in from, from the... usually from the bottom. So, how long you've been in uh, Lake of the Woods? I guess you grew up there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I was born and raised in Kenora, and my father was an avid outdoorsman, hunter, fisher, and so we spent all summer out on the lake, Lake nice. of the Woods, and, and did a lot of this ice fishing. Of course, the technology has changed a lot since then. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, we never had. We didn't have flashers and, and even little fishing rods, you know? Yeah, I remember we used to always use our summer poles, you yeah. know, summer well, rods. And we would, I don't know, maybe it was really old school, but we had hand lines. And oh, really? Yeah, and you would go out and cut a willow stick at off the shore <laughs> and you'd punch your hole and you'd set your line off your willow stick. And You're not 80 years old. No, I, that's the way my dad <laughs> did it. Unbelievable. That's pretty cool, and you would catch. Yeah, well, and then you string a live minnow on it, right? And that's doing yeah. all the work for you. So. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one. Well, same one. <laughs> oh, that's a sauger. Yeah. yeah. Nico, the fish are jumping holes. They're, yeah. they're hopscotching <laughs> you, leapfrogging you. Maybe I don't catch a fish, but... I catch a cold. <laughs> <laughs> you catch a cold, yeah. Spent some time out at uh, our cottage this summer when Nico arrived, and he fished and fished and fished off the dock, and we took him fishing. And usually you can cast and catch pike or bass off the dock, no problem. And he was just having a heck of a time. And you very rarely catch walleye around our island because we're in part of Lake of the Woods where you don't see a lot, a lot of them. Uh -huh. And then one evening just before dark, he was casting off the shore. And uh, he, he called down, he, we were up on the island, and he called us, and we went down, and he'd caught a nice little walleye like that, and that's the first walleye that's ever been Is caught. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. That's awesome. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. 
St. Andrews Parts and Power are located right here in St. Andrews, not far from the river. If your auger needs authorized warranty work or just a quick fix, bring it into St. Andrews Parts and Power and Brad and his staff will get you back on the ice. St. Andrews Parts and Power have auger parts in stock so there'll be no waiting around. Check out their refurbished Eskimo augers ready to blast through the ice to get you where you want to be, fishing. I know Roger Stearns, I believe, came up with this. Um, he's a good guy, great fisherman. What you do with the flutter spoon, if you want to put a minnow on it, all you do is I go through the gill plate here, so it's nice and tight there, so now that's not going to come off. Then you take your second hook, you put it through the back, and then you wrap the tail around to the third, and you put it through the tail. So you got something that looks like that, and that minnow is going to stay on there for you until a fish bites. So give that a try, and hopefully you can catch more fish that way. Who uses Fahrenheit nowadays? You got look out, two cubs in the south. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, so I shut the zipper. We're on the news. Last year. The four the four guys that caught the head. Well folks, you know, it's been a half decent morning. We caught uh, a few sauger, a couple of greenbacks. We one one greenback, I think. And uh, unfortunately, Nico got the straight. I really wanted to put you on a fish, but you know what, we're going to stay out once the cameras are gone. We'll stay out a little longer until you, we get you one, alright? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you something. So, uh, you know, I'd like to thank you guys for being on the show. Well, it's been a good morning. Us, you know, it was yeah, my great. pleasure. I had a lot of fun and uh, memories are last a lifetime, right? Absolutely. So, you know what, I'd like to thank you folks for joining us on MikeOnIce.ca and we're going to bring you a lot more content, a lot more fishing. We're going to try to give you some ice reports and everything. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you out on the ice. Here's a fish. There we go. How's that for a goodbye? Take care. <laughs>